Okay, so today's reading is going to be a love and relationship reading for August. So if you pick your sets, we've got set one, set two, and set three. So if you pick your set and I will go through your cards. All right, so just on a side note as well, if you would like a personal tarot reading done by me, which is online, I write my readings and send them out, you can contact me on hello at stacysadler.com and I have a rundown of the different readings that I do on my website, which is at www.stacysadler.com. All right, so let's get into the cards. So first of all, we've got set one. Okay, so from the cards that came up in this set, I kind of get the feeling that there is somebody in your life who just wants the very best for you. They like to shower you with gifts um, and they just want the very best for you. So this person here likes to do things to make you happy and probably in a more practical sense so you know they'll buy you flowers they'll you buy you little gifts and things like that but they also they're working they're working for something behind the scenes so and it's not you know about this you know what they're working towards but it's like it's kind of like it's a bit more harder work than they thought it would be so at times you might get a bit you know turning your back and, and get a bit bored and thinking that the relationships come to a bit of a you know standstill or or the love's kind of not there anymore but it's only because this person that is around you is just working so hard behind the scenes to to build something up for you guys as a team that that you know that's kind of taken a bit of their time and attention away from you um i mean but they're still there they're still completely there to support you when you need it and it's like they're going through a few battles themselves as well but they won't actually let you in on that they'll they they're probably a person that they keep it keep things to themselves they're probably not a person who freely expresses their emotions so so you could find that they're a little bit emotionally disconnected um but that is only because they don't know how to express themselves um so there is a bit of um you know patience um, needed from you for them to get through this period of time and to build up what they want to build up for you and your life together um, again here work and occupation so this is probably something that they're working on to do with their job that they're trying to build up and gaining a lot of money so something that is very important to them is is having a lot of money and having you know the finer things in life and being able to provide and, and support so this is what that person that is around you is working towards and they're living on instinct as well so it's I kind of get that this is a male in this situation it's like this is just something that they just feel instinctively that they need to do so there's there's no stopping them with this and and your part in this is is to show gratitude to that and you know it, it might be a hard road for both of you you know they're working a lot and you're probably not getting the emotional needs that you need at the time um, but if you both just have compassion for one another then it's like this period of time will just go and and you'll come out the other side with just something so much better and so much stronger together so there's a lot of teamwork that needs to go on here to to support each other through this time so that is what is happening for our set one. Okay, so moving on to set two now. Okay, so if you picked set two, there could have been something happened recently where you felt really like something quick has happened and and it could be a a separation or it could be you know a fight that ha that's happened or something that's just been a quick change in your life it's like there's been um sort of you know some judging going on and someone just 
you know, not wanting to see things from the other person's perspective and it's just like it's just been a snap and it's like gone separate ways kind of thing. So there is need for balance. So it's not like this is a, you know, a permanent thing. This is more that it's something that you need to work through. So you've there's something good going on with somebody else, but there's a need for balance, a complete need for balance because you that's not been achieved here at the moment. So finding balance is something that is really important for you guys in August who picked set two. Um, the universe is guiding you through this as well. They want you to, to get back to this joyful, you know, happy, free, loving kind of relationship. But there is, and you do need to find some, you know, even ground. Perhaps one person just doesn't want to move. One person is very stubborn. Um, but you need to be really flexible with how you're thinking because that is stopping you from, from being in this balanced relationship. And from the female's perspective, they just want success and love. So, you know, they want this fairy tale ending kind of thing. Um, they want everything to be, to be, you know, more fair and, and to live with, with both of your feelings being taken to, into account and both of your dreams being built up together and just good, happy things going on in a relationship. So that's, you know, that that is what you want. It's not like this is, you know, you've gone your separate ways and, and that's it kind of thing. It's, it's there's still connections here and, and that success and love is, is what you're both aiming for. Um, also, for any of you who are single watching this as well, it could be that somebody has come into your life and sort of, you know, it's been going great for a little bit and then all of a sudden something's happened and it's like it's either ended or somebody said something and that's kind of just, you know, cut everything off for you. So, again, you need to probably have a look at the people that you're surrounding yourself with um, you need to find somebody who is going to be in balance with you and, and to bring you into a place of joy, not into a place of feeling like you can't be yourself because you're a good person and, and you want success and love and you do deserve the very best. So make sure that you are connecting with people who you are aligned with and not just who perhaps looks good from the outside. All right, so that is our set two. Okay, and lastly we've got set three. Okay, so if you picked this set, interesting, because I'm pretty sure these two cards came up not so long ago in another reading that I've done. Um, so it looks like you've been a little bit lost lately. You've kind of been, you know, wandering and almost kind of like when's something going to pop out and and change my life kind of thing and it's like in August that either will have already happened for you going into August or it will happen in August so someone's going to come into your life and they'll be kind of like a knight in shining armor kind of person and they will just uh, sweep you up and they will be carrying you to where you're meant to be so more emotionally they'll be carrying you so it's like this person will just come in and they'll just have so much knowledge about things that you didn't even really ever think about they'll probably be quite spiritual um they'll be connected with their spiritual self they'll you know talk to you about things that you'll be quite you know eye-opening for you and you know just expose you to another side of life that you didn't even really know about so this person is a soulmate in your life so you know whether that be you know a love relationship or it could be a friendship or or someone that you've met during work or something um but this person you are very soul connected to them and they're just going to come into your life and just make you yeah see things from just a completely different perspective and just so you know amazing beautiful things that um that you just didn't even you know see before and it's like you'll look around and just you'll just see different things and that's kind of hard to explain but you'll just you'll get what I mean by this in August that you know things will just look a lot different for you um 
a gift you're you're receiving a gift here and I, I suspect that the gift is is of seeing life in a new light um a long way to go so you know there is a bit of a path that you will journey with this it's will be a bit windy um you know there will be kind of things that you discover that you know you might you know not be a bit sad about but just be you know all the different you're discovering so many different sides of life and and you know that be positive neg negative um you know there's a big mixture of things in there so it's going to be a really exciting path for you um but it's like it is leading you somewhere else where you will just know things and you'll use this to to create more things in your life as well. So a really exciting, exciting time in your life. And it's I feel like I can't, can't explain it very good, but it's you, the people who picked this set will know what I mean in August. Um, just, yeah, somebody who's coming into your life, who's just going to take you on a big adventure and, and it's going to be quite exciting for you guys. Um, yeah, as I say, the path is quite long and windy, but it will be exciting too. All right, so that is our set three. So that was our August reading for love and relationships. Um, again, if you want a personal reading done by me, you can message me at hello at stacysadler.com. The next pick a card will be up on Monday on Facebook and Instagram, and I will be back with another video pick a card on YouTube on Thursday. Cool. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.